Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing something I didn't thought I would have to do today, but it's necessary. On the 11th of February 2024, in the early morning, one of my MGTOW friends told me about this and I need to clarify what this is as soon as possible. This stream contains an image of something that claims to be a MGTOW defense force, quote unquote, and I have to respond to this. Firstly, this seems like a glowy trap or a psyop. Nobody in MGTOW that I know of, not even Sandman or Thinking Ape or Undead Chronic or the others, know about this and this did not arise organically. This seems like a high chance there's Fed involvement. Now what do I mean by this? If you know recent history, federal agents and government agents have a habit of trying to infiltrate or entrap people who are members or parts of groups they don't like. If we as MGTOWs are not careful, we could go to jail or something like this, if militias like this are created in regions where they're not legal. And not just that, it's because the governments can claim something and make up fake justifications. Once again, I tell you not to trust the federal government or random militias that I pop that may pop out of nowhere, especially if most MGTOWs don't know this is going on and no consensus of any kind was agreed on. Secondly, I want to tell that I'm personally not involved in this. Things have been going great in MGTOW in 2024, and it is my fundamental belief that we should expand peacefully and that we should solve problems and issues legally, avoiding grey areas wherever possible. We must avoid attracting those who seek to entrap us or worse. I believe in peace and I believe in negotiation and cooperation. We have no need to resort to such desperate and uh, grey area and borderline measures. If you believe these militias are genuine, assuming they exist, which I am assuming they do, you do you, but please at the very least do your own research and avoid taking things at face value. Of course, at face value, a militia comprised of those willing to defend our people is a great and honorable idea, but this must be done legally in areas where it's legal to do so, without any feds or glowies who will try to infiltrate, and there must be a consensus within MGTA so that we know it's trustworthy and not something that that's astroturfed. Thirdly, I want to mention that I continue to believe in peace and that I will continue to uphold my promises I made to other communities. On December 6, 2023, I was mistakenly banned from a technology and software related Discord server due to the staff team of that Discord server believing reports from people about me at the time. These reports painted me in a negative light, but the people reporting me weren't malicious. They just didn't know any better and and were probably stupid or something, but they genuinely believed in their own copium that they were protecting the server. And when I was talking to the leader of that Discord server and community, I managed to convince him that I wasn't a danger and got unbanned. However, I also made several promises, one of which being that I would prioritize legal means of expanding and promoting MGTOW and that I won't resort to doing anything illegal or likely to result in violence. I will continue to uphold these promises and this is what I want to make clear to those who are members of the staff team in that server if they are watching this. I'll continue to abide by agreements reached on December 6, 2023 and I'll continue to promote peace and do what is in the best interests of all MGTOWs peacefully. There is so much left to do and so much left to do in order to grow MGTA, but I'll keep doing it to expand MGTA and to make us win, and especially to defeat feminism and gynocentrism. And just because some people who might not have been involved in any kinds of agreements reach to do something different that's not entirely consistent with my promises or my overall goals does not mean that I am doing that. MGTA and the MGTA community is decentralized, and the p people in the MGTA community community can largely do whatever they want and uh, I will personally continue to do what I see as necessary to guarantee the interests of all MGTOWs and to win against gynocentrism and feminism. 2024 is the year of opportunity for us MGTOWs and this is why I'm doing what and this is why I'm doing what I can to take advantage of it. To sum it up there are better ways of defending and growing MGTOW than creating a potential militia, assuming it's tr true, and risking Fed involvement. We are already winning, but can continue to win if we, if we stick to our current path, 
And I will also seek to uphold the promises I made to other people and other communities, and I'll uphold the principles of peace and negotiation. Anyways, this has been Igor Miktau and Video Games. Like and subscribe and click the bell notifications on YouTube if you enjoyed the video. And follow me on odyssey.com and miktau.tv and Twitter and join my Gilded server. And before I say bye-bye, uh, as I'm recording, it's... a. Uh, Zero zero twenty four, which means today is International Mikta Day, but I'll make a separate announcement on that day later. So happy early International Mikta Day, I guess. But anyways, uh, bye bye and thanks for watching.